are now entering a vibe. Sight! Hey! <laughs> Yerp, you already know what it is. It's your man's Griff, and you know, I guess I'm back on your computer, your phone screen, whatever you be watching this on. Well, it's been a long time. It's been a really long time, and I really miss coming back to YouTube, but I convinced myself, oh, here come the excuses. I convinced myself that I didn't have enough time, I didn't have any ideas. I convinced myself, oh man, you need a haircut. Obviously, obviously, as y'all can see today, I'm just slumming it, you know what I'm saying? Smart begins with the letter S. And so does slumming it, you know what I'm saying? It's been so long since we last saw each other. Um, I haven't really done any like content wise or any skits or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure you guys are used to it by now. Whatever. But um so I titled this video The Coronavirus Cost Me My Job. Which is not really it, which is not really like clickbaity at all. I mean it's honestly truly, kind of more likely, kind of sorta of true, something like that. But so this is kind of like a, a Ramir rant. Let's just stick with that. Um, this is Ramir rant. I remember earlier in a few previous videos, I was talking about, oh let's do a Ramir rant. This is gonna be posted as well. Is um let me know what y'all think about it, but I'm gonna call it Ramir's rants. And it will be just pretty much me talking, giving advice on about a subject or giving my opinion about a subject. This is, I think this is going to be the type of video you would just have on. You can sit here and eat, eat the rest of your quarantine snacks or whatever like that. So what better than the rant about is this whole, see, this, this coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? This COVID-19, this stuff that's going on. So I decided to name this video, the coronavirus cost me my job, okay? Um, so backstory, brief backstory. So right now, if you don't know, right now, right now I'm currently working for the NFL. Um, it's an internship, but I do work for them, so I am working for the NFL. Don't let, don't, don't let, don't. First of all, that's why I don't like when I, I, if I tell something how it is, how I see it, it's always a hater, just like it's an internship. It's it, it's it's a brief internship. Hey, come on, just let me let me do me. Like, all right, let me say I work for the NFL. I mean, I really do. Kind of. This is a brief internship at NFL Films. I'm really enjoying it. I met tons of great people. Tons of, uh, I feel like people who are going to be some, tons of great like-minded people, people I feel like will be uh, a working relationship, a business relationship later down the line, and t creatives, like, who's on the, you know, I've, I've met a lot of great people. I can't even put the words. I had a lot of, had a lot of memories. Uh, it kind of feels like I'm looking back at it now, even though that's where I'm currently at. With the whole coronavirus thing going around, uh, they decided to let us work from home. But me as an intern, it's not really too much I can do from home. So that's why it's kind of like, all right, it costs me my job. I'm not even trying to explain the clickbaity title, but it's, it's actual factual truth to it. So I don't know. I just feel like it's necessary to talk about this. I feel like I'm the only one not upset or sad. I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's not, I'm not being like inconsiderate or not compassionate or not empathetic about what other people are going through. But a lot of people are upset and sad and distraught and confused and I just don't feel none of those emotions. Because even even though this coronavirus is stealing my internship from me, literally, it's stealing my internship to the point where I've seen like information that's saying like that we could be like this for like eight weeks. And as of today, guess how many weeks I have left my internship? Nine. I don't know. I think I take comfort in the fact that it's out of my control. I, I, I it's just something I just I didn't foresee coming, but it's just something I just was like, well, it's nothing. What can I do? Complain? Oh my God, this sucks. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it sucks, but I just can't really. I can't do a thing about it. I don't know. So like, it, it's affecting me. It's affecting me. Like I can't go to work. I have to work from home, but it's not too much I can do from home really. Um. So, so I'm just kind of sitting here. I'm using all this time to finish projects I always talked about finishing, create content. If I got an idea for something to do, I'm just stepping the gas and going for it. Like I got an idea coming, I'm working on it now. It's kind of something, it's, it's a skit, but it's kind of something that like probably wouldn't expect from me. I don't know, I don't know. But I feel like, I feel like people will enjoy it and I have fun, to, I'm still having fun doing it right now. So it has a lot of people distraught, it has a lot of people confused. And like, and it has a lot of people panicking, bro. I haven't, well, I have a lot of people panicking, like, 
there is there is no paper there's no toilet paper there's no paper towels in stores and food and and i'm seeing so many uh pictures and, and tweets of things and like i haven't gone out and seen for myself but um i might have to because i ain't no food i want to talk about the schools because i feel like that's really i'm first of all i'm very very fortunate and blessed enough to have graduated last year because last year there was so much that I was even being trying to be involved in trying to do and trying to accomplish that I cannot imagine something like this coming in and just cutting it all short but my heart goes out to all the seniors well this is just how your last year ended it's kind of whack but honestly like I said just to encourage people what can you do but make the best you can you can sit here and pout like Oh man, I didn't get to do this, I didn't get to do that, I get to do that. I think that's just a notion for all of us that we just need to do things. You know what I'm saying? Before we can't, we just need to go and attack and go and accomplish, go and set goals and just do things because we never know. Like no one's seen this whole shutdown coming. What What's the worst that can happen? You regret that you did it? That is pretty bad. Any idea that you have or anything you want to do just as long as it's not illegal or hurt anybody. But anything you want to do, just go for it because you never know if you'll have the ability to or not. Some schools are talking about not even doing a ceremony and that's kind of like, ugh, like... One thing that really drives you your senior year is the ability to just walk and grab that empty diploma the container because it's not a diploma. It's not a degree yet. Just grabbing the cover, taking a picture. You know what I'm saying? That's something that really drives you. So, um, yeah, I can't imagine. Bro, I was this morning, I think it was this morning, bro, I was looking at, yo, I got looped up in this whole conspiracy theory thing about the coronavirus, bro. Bro, because them, them conspiracies was like, yo, how come I never seen a loved one or somebody who has the coronavirus come and speak out of it? I've never seen a sick person in a hospital bed. Like, I've never seen this, never seen that. How come we just, oh, we just seen all these celebrities get it? Blah, 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 blah. How come, how come we, um, how come, like, like, I just say, look it up for yourself, bro. I mean, I'm not gonna say I believe it or anything, but it definitely kept me like, hey, what? You know what I'm saying? It definitely kept me into it. Bro, I had to turn my camera on back on for this, because I just, I just seen something, but it's really people out here just like, they'll see somebody who is of Asian descent, and they'll be like, Sitting here like on, on a on a bus trying to scoot next to the other person to get away from them. Meanwhile, the other person probably got the joint and just probably like, <coughs> yeah, man, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> they wild. <coughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That's just that like you don't even you don't even know. You don't even know. Yeah, this whole pandemic is wild, but it's just really it's just kind of just humbling. I mean, it's kind of just like just to shake us and just like, yo, we have opportunities that we've been had, we passed over, oh, I can do it tomorrow. Bro, chase, chase your opportunities now. Chase them now, bro. They're running, they're right there, they're waiting for you to th go, go grab it, bro. With everyone shut down, everything shut down, everybody's inside, show social distancing, everyone's inside, everyone's gonna be on their phone, everyone's gonna be on YouTube, everyone's gonna be on Instagram. If this is not the time to start your business, do something creative, I don't know when. And make the best out of your situation. You can't just sit here and mope and like, oh, I watched everything on Netflix, I don't know what else to do. Let this be an encouragement to just remind yourself like, yo, I can do that thing I've been putting off for years. Cause even me, right now, I'm writing a script right now and I've been like slowly but surely, whenever I get time trying to keep, get the pieces together, create the characters, create their backstory so it gets easier as I'm writing the script. But now I have no excuse. I'm literally home and I get paid for it. I've seen something that says like, if you're gonna pray, then why worry? And if you're gonna worry, then why pray? I don't think, I think we can be concerned. I think that that's a human emotion, but to put energy into worrying, but then also gonna put energy into praying, I don't, I don't think that works. And that's just kind of where I am about it. I'm kind of at peace with this entire thing. I don't know. Maybe that let that be an encouragement for you. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm different. But it doesn't mean be foolish and just go dap up everybody. Ooh, like, you know what I'm saying? Just touching all your face. Bro, if it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. And if it's not meant to happen, it won't.
I just take comfort in that. I just want to encourage you. This turned into a whole sermon, bro. Thank you guys for watching and sitting through this rant. It was kind of just unorganized. I promise. It's some. Hey, hey, follow me on Instagram and also I'm gonna try this thing. Follow me on TikTok because I feel like uh, some things I can do on there too. Absolutely. I feel like I have, you know, I think I'm funny, but. Uh, make sure you comment with some more stuff I can talk about. Tell me your thoughts about this Rona, bro. And um, stay safe, stay, stay clean. Keep your hands washed. Don't touch your face. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. Work hard and never settle. And this is your time. This is your opportunity. Is waiting for. Is waiting for you. Go get it. Go get it right now, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing for someone else. Take it. Peace. Okay, we need some sort of distraction for everybody. Anything new on YouTube? Michael. Doesn't even need to be good.